Uh, Cue Billy Joel. We need you just the, the way, way you are. are. Oh, God. <laughs> Holy crap. Blah. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to Feel Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacy J. Aswan. Hey everybody, Chuck and Stacy here with VO Buzz Weekly. Here we go with part two with the amazing Wes Stevens at Vox. So the voice of Siri, um, I can't, it's a, a client named Susan Bennett. She came to me uh, after she was outed as the voice of Siri. Mm -hmm. She was outside her contract with them. Um, so my job with her has been to represent her interests um, post uh, Apple contract. So right. mm -hmm. interestingly, numerous commercial entities were still liking original Siri and throwing her into spots and we would chase down those spots and, and hammer out deals right. and then speaking opportunities. And of course she's actually, we can't talk about it right now, but she, we just did a deal for a, a really interesting, you know, like foreign series yeah. of spots that hopefully that campaign will grow and, and move into other spaces. Yeah. But you know, so for her, and, and for her, it's also been about there's an opportunity there and that she's now become a brand entity. So some of it's been, how do we leverage? Um, we made we made her more money post mm. the gig. She was, she had no idea she was recording to be yeah. Siri. She was recording, you know, text to speech for days and days and days for, I mean, smartphones didn't exist yet. Yeah. Right. So right. she had no idea what she was doing. Wow. And it never said Apple on a contract. It never said, you know, so, and then it, it became ubiquitous. Yeah. Um, so really for her, we've made her more money um, after the fact, leveraging that. Right. You know, yeah. Right. Leveraging both the use of her voice, you know, it, people have wanted to use the voice and exploit it without necessarily yeah. mm -hmm. pay for yeah. it. So yeah. we're going to chase those down as well as what can we build mm -hmm. on top right. of it. Well, and there will never why... be another original Siri. She yeah. will always be that She'll unique. She'll be the, yeah. yes. yes. That is, that's why I always tell everybody that having, you know, a, a great agent mm. to broker deals and to really watch her back, that's a perfect example how, you know, she had this gig, didn't know what she was doing, but after the fact, you were able to make her more money than she made while she was actually doing what she was doing because- Recognizing got, the value. Because you guys know yeah. how to do that. Yeah. Well, we also, we, and the fun part for me has been, we also built a reputation then of understanding the nuance of um, te these technology, kind of, these nexus points of mm -hmm. technology and voice, you know, and, and, constructing some pretty complex but interesting deals yeah. um, for those types of clients. So it's interesting. Most of my clients who work within that space, I've inherited them after their original deal was mm. done when they've wanted to, they're like, I think my deal is supposed to be better than this. Yeah. And they come to me and then right, right. I, it's, it's, I, I enjoy the process of going um, to battle on those. And, and some of those deals take. That's really cool, man. Some of those deals take a long time to yeah. do. So, yeah. yeah, you know, and just and just protecting the client because it's not if you don't understand the nuance, you know, one of my clients years ago was was, you know, God rest his soul was um, John Forsythe. He was mm. Charlie. Mm. Yeah. And um, at one point his, his daughter called me and said, you know, they were using I didn't do the first film deal and they were using the voice, you know, in a, in a commercial. And she said, can I do this? I looked at the deal. And I said, yeah, I said, because whoever did this deal wasn't a voiceover agent. Mm. I said, so they didn't understand the nuance of all of the ways they can manipulate a voice into a commercial mm. that they can't manipulate Cameron Diaz into a commercial. Right. Because right. you can't just lift a person into a commercial. Right. You can lift a, a voice. You know, yes. hello angels yep. into yep. a bunch of spots. Oh my gosh. And that yeah. voice was so recognizable. Yeah. Right. So, so some of it's just recognizing, um, and just it, it, it's some of the, the fun of it is anticipating what could happen mm -hmm. um, and protecting. You know, it's yeah. like I have a deal right now I'm putting together with a client who, you know, the client is a celebrity or, or, or I'm sorry, a, an animated voice of a character that's just that's that's kind of an influencer type character at this point. Like it exists, the character only exists in the digital yeah. world. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not there's no film or TV yet. Mm -hmm. 
And so some of it's like, how do we structure a deal for the client to be able to do core content? But then some of my point in that structure is like, look, his engagements, um, if, if, a, if we start creating content for a commercial brand, we need to be having those conversations directly with the commercial brand because it's a, mm. it's a different engagement than the core content, right. which we need to support and create a healthy working relationship with the creators yeah. to be able to create as much great, rich, beautiful content as we can, right, right. which you know I get drives a proof of concept that then says with all these followers and engagement, yeah. the commercial brands are going to come in and go, we really want to do some stuff. And then, you know, and then those opportunities, everybody's like, and I'm not even saying to the core content team, hey, look, I'm not going to make it your problem. Just make sure I'm written in the deal that they can't engage until right. they have a conversation right. with me. Yeah. I will become, I'm not a problem, but I will become a fly in the ointment for the commercial entity. You're an advocate. Thank you. <laughs> the manipulator of silence. Uh, hey, no, the, but it, it's also anticipating more than just the now, which is so important, yeah. which a lot of people either don't do if they're doing their own deals or have representation that I think is, it's experience you know, is and thinking it's, outside it's experience of the box. And it's contextualization. Like, yeah. I think and mm -hmm. that's one of my one of my biggest frustrations is how often I see deals being done where the individuals didn't contextualize. Mm -hmm. They didn't anticipate, you know, like, the, well, they didn't read the deal. Like, yeah. they, like you got to right. pay attention to the details. Yeah. 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 Or, and yeah. you got to be able to look in the details and yeah. say, hey, I get what you're trying to get to there, but unfortunately we're exposed. Yeah. Yes. And I just need to close the exposure, you know, and look, if, the, if that situation comes up down the road, you know, You'll revisit. we can, we can yeah. come back to it yeah. or we can pre-negotiate those right. terms. Yeah. Right, right, right. Can I Love switch it. things around a little bit? Um, sure, Chuck. Um, if somebody isn't a celebrity and they want to be represented, their dream is to be represented by Vox and they're not a celebrity, what is the best way for them? What are some qualifications that they need to have in order for you or somebody in your team to say, hmm, that's valuable. We're going to look into that seriously, not being a celebrity. Again, I think the marketplace is changing, which means we're all um, consolidating our focus. Uh, it's very expensive for me to develop a talent from scratch these days. We don't do it much. Right. Mm -hmm. You'd have to be extraordinary. Yeah, I don't. I can't. And I, think I can't less tell you and less what that agents is. Are yeah. not doing. That. Yeah, which is yeah. sad because I, I, you know, I've, I've built some really cool careers from scratch. Mm -hmm. You know, more or less. Yeah, and that's, I'm, I'm proud of those. Um, you know, and and that I don't know if we're gonna get to do much of that anymore. So, you got to be working. You got to have a track record. You got to have a website. You've got to have good demos. You've got to understand the marketplace and where you fit in it. You got to have a point of view. Um, you have to understand your relevance. You got to have a home studio. You got to be able to nail the reads. Um, for us, you've probably come into us from some form of recommendation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, for us, you're generally coming to us uh, having maximized whatever you're doing probably elsewhere and wanting to step it up level up into yeah. and i'm not being you know no, 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 yeah, no, it, 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 but but you know wanting a different level of optimization yeah mm -hmm. um you know we are not the worst conversation we can have is i've been everywhere and i just understand why i'm not getting booked you know the conversation we want to have is i've been some key places i've had some wins but i can't get in the door you know at these studios at these yeah. networks yeah. at these offices um you know, and maybe I've done really well in this market. It's like, well, what about this market? It's like, well, no one's really offered that to me yeah. before. Right. So we need to have, there needs to be an upside. There needs to be, you know, something that we can mm -hmm. latch onto and, and, you know, and grow. Like we, we want to, we want to have, there needs to be, you need to be un, uh, op, you know, yeah. what, 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 there needs to be potential that's been untapped. Yeah. Is it LA it based matter. only? It, it can matter. be anywhere. Yeah. That's what you want to do. Like if you want to be, you say, I, I want to make a killing in animation. Yeah. You need to live here. Yeah. Gaming, you need to live here. 
um, pretty much every other market we can work long distance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what what demos are important for you to hear in, in, in order to consider some talent? I mean, is one demo enough, a commercial demo? Or would Depends you rather what, hear different the, genres as well? I don't do any demos that you can't, that like the only demo I need to hear is the demos you're good at. Right. So yeah. if you're a commercial guy, just nail it. Nail it. If you're a character person, then obviously it's a character. You're, you're someone who can do an amazing announce, but you've also got amazing characters. Those are separate. Right. Yep. You know, the other thing is the beauty of the beauty of a site is we can. We're not. I mean, good God, let's go back to like when it used to be like producing the demo was and it was set in stone and. You know, yeah, the graphics. hard copy. <laughs> and the oh, yeah. I mean, the yeah. whole, so much went the into whole it. crap, yeah. you know, like yeah. pressing CDs. And yes, yes. I, mean, I remember we used to make the house CD. What a night. Do you remember those? Oh, I oh still my have them. God. I, still, I kept one of each one and I look at them with just like. It's so and all labor the agencies intensive. did that too. Everybody. So labor did. Everybody. Intensive. Oh, my goodness. So, gracious. what things do you like and dislike to hear on demos? Besides, obviously, nailing it. I don't know it. if I'm the right guy to answer that these days. I don't listen to as many demos okay. these days as my staff does. And um, I mean, I, it, it just, it's like anything. I, I can't st be self aware. Like, there's nothing worse than, like, let's just face it in general, like, yeah. it drives us batty when individuals are not self aware. Mm -hmm. And so I think as a talent, like, know what you're good at and lead with it. Yeah. Don't put something on there you're not good at. Well, I think that a lot of people, I and mean, you find this too, I'm sure, you know, when you meet with people is you want to try to please everyone and be everything. Yeah, just, that's the word. That's There's, not, it's you're creepy. not going to be able to do it. Yeah, it, it smells. Does, it does smell. Yeah. It smells needy. And yeah. nothing, there's, that's the worst cologne ever. Yeah. Yes. And, it's like, and, and yes. Desperation Ode by Ode 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 like, I'm here, <laughs> and people send me a lot of demos. Hey, you know, I just did this. What do you think? Um, and uh, for many different reasons, but one of the things that I hear that I don't really like a lot is when I hear a voice actor trying to sound Ugh. like a voice actor. Mm. It, yeah, everything just, is put know on. what you're good at and do that. Nail it. Yeah. Because and it, don't and, yeah. and you can't be everything to everyone. Right. No. Maybe you can. Maybe you're that guy. Maybe you've got this huge arsenal of voices. Okay, great. But then also, like you know, like know the marketplace. Mm -hmm. Know what's current. Know what's relevant. Like so, and on the animation demo, you demos, just nailed it on the head. Yeah, on the animation demo, you're so happy. It's like, right hey, now. I'm gonna do my witch and my cowboy, and I'm like, wow, <laughs> haven't heard any what witches those, yeah. in a 25 year career. <laughs> yeah, that's I've new. never heard a Hungarian witch, <laughs> or you know, someone's really yes. bad Yosemite Sam. Right. You know, it's oh. like. So can we touch a little yes. bit on knowing your yes. industry because? In any other industry, if you were going to open up a Mexican restaurant, wouldn't you want to know everything about Mexican food and the restaurant business in we general? St we started on that subject, which is, mm. I, you know, whether you want to be an assistant, an agency, an agent, a talent, a producer, you better get what the what the tree is, and you better get what the forest is, and mm. you better be able to reference back and forth, and then you be better be able to step out into the macro. Where is the forest? Yeah. Right. What right. plant, you know, like an out and out and out and out. Yeah. And then be able to drill back down and be able to have a relationship between the two. Yeah. Right. And be fluid so that you're not so set in stone that it's like, well, this is how I do it. This is the way it's done. Yeah. Well, maybe that's not what's being done. Yeah. Um, when a Absolutely. talent has a meeting mm -hmm. with an agent, and I don't know if this is now or you've done this, I'm sure a million gazillion times it happens right now at Vox probably on a daily basis but somebody has a meeting with an agency uh, uh, to, for maybe representation uh, uh, is there anything that they can do to help that meeting go smoothly what's what did, how did how do they need to prepare for a meeting like that? Because you know they're going to be nervous, right? You know they're going to be like, "Oh, crap, this is my life here." So, any any advice you could give to those people? Well, yeah. they shouldn't wear O Daniti. <laughs> oh, Daniti! Oh my God, that's scene. so good. That's the first one. Oh, Daniti. Be set um, free. Okay. No, that's number one. I, I think be yourself. Um, know your business. Uh, know 
why know know us as an agency know why you're there um you know a, a great meeting you know i've been in a lot of meetings over the years and taking young agents to lunches with me and they're like that's so we'll be standing in the valet and you know a manager or a lawyer or somebody will give us two or three clients and the, the younger agent will be like that's so weird you didn't talk any business you know and it's like some of it is that's why we got the clients because we mm-hmm. got to know each other. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if you come to a meeting and you're clearly a giant pain in the ass and needy, you know, and don't have a concept of where you are, or why you're there, or um, where you want to go, or where right. things yeah, are. Then, right. then it's just you're not interested. Because yeah. it's a us. relationship. I mean, well, it's, it's a it's a it's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a relationship a and, and it's an investment yeah. on yeah. our part. We have to. I, I'm making every client we take on. I'm making an investment in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's a speculative investment in our business. We're not a pay-to-play agency. I know that crap is starting to go on more and more. Yeah. Hey, man, it'd be nice. I'd, I'd have a nice chunk of overhead covered if I could charge my 150, 200 clients, you know, $100 a month mm-hmm. just to be just to be repped. Yeah. Which doesn't right. seem that crazy to be. For the amount of work we do, that's not that nuts. Or 50 oh, bucks, let's say no. 50. Yeah, forty nine ninety nine. Yeah, is, um, that, is that what we're going? And three here? easy <laughs> pay, but in three no, but easy payments. Going, that is going on. No, I know. And, and, and you know, I'm uh, all right. I guess you can get away with it. I don't know. I'm slightly envious of that model. It, it, you know, and the, it, it is expensive. Like, but I've chosen, and we've built a business on being willing in the tradition of entertainment that's 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 existed for a century right. at least. Of we make a speculative investment in a talent, and we're advocates. And we help build and grow a career. And there's years where we don't book leading up to the years where hopefully we're booking on a consistent mm-hmm. basis. As an agent, what are your biggest challenges, yours uh, personally? I, you know, my challenges are a bit different in that I, I'm, I'm, I'm an entrepreneur and a business owner. I have multiple businesses in the entertainment business. And yeah. I've had multiple businesses, other ones. So I, you know, again, back to this idea, I have to have a macro mm-hmm. point of view and I have to have a transactional point of view. Like we need to be making deals. Yeah. So there's cash flow. But then I need to be looking at like, where are we going? What are the trends? Where's the marketplace going? How do we diversify? Um, so, I mean, the, 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 okay. On a micro level, the issues are, I think, consistent, which is, we deal with the human commodity and it is fragile at times. Mm -hmm. It requires, I think, emotional intelligence, which is often lacking in our business and our world. Mm. Empathy. Um, I think it requires a passion. Don't get in this business if you don't care about the talent. Oh my gosh, yeah. We work for the talent. It's not the other way around. So I think we need to treat them with respect. Um, They can be frustrating at times. They, They have one of the most challenging gigs out there in that they are you know throwing themselves in a in a in an act of incredible vulnerability throwing their art in front of people for acceptance and approval and so i think that's going to breed its own myriad of yeah complexities of you know and, and those can become challenging the business itself is you know insanely busy um there's no time. Is it a five day a week thing? Is it a six no, day, seven day? It's a day? lifestyle. Like if you're going to do this, it's a lifestyle. I mean, I think we have more, we have more space. We have more freedom. Like, you know, back in the, in, in the early days when it was real to real and cassette and then CDs and FedEx, I mean, you know, yeah. that th- we were tied. It was awful. Like, Back in the real to real days, yeah. you couldn't uh, listen to just 10 seconds. No, you could be in the office. It took you 30 minutes. You could be in the office till nine o'clock at night. Yeah. Easy. So I think we have more freedom uh, than we've ever had, you know. And we're also moving at an insane pace. People expect emails and, and things returned, you know, on weekends. It's tricky. You know, yeah. And, yeah. and that's 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 one thing, man. A lot of people don't realize. They say, hey, man, I sent so-and-so an agent an email and I haven't responded in like two weeks. Or then I sent them another one and they never responded. And I'm like, do you have any idea mm. how many emails? I, know, I have no patience for that. Because I still, I was raised in this business as we return our calls the same day. And I do my best 
It may not be same day, but I get back to pretty much every email, unless your email is a name. Yeah. You know, unless you're wasting my time, then you may yeah. not hear back from me. Yeah. But if your email's legit, I try to get back to you within I, I, 24 hours is my goal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 48, you know, if, I, if I've gone past 48, it's because I've been like, you, today, you, you today, lost the email. Today, yeah, I had, today I had six email, six, six meetings and a drive to Burbank. Right. So there, and I still got right. through most of my inbox. Yeah. And then I made calls on the way here. And so, I don't have, I, I don't, I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm done with this ghosting and this didn't get back. And no, I do Good think, for you, man. but yeah. then, but then on the other side of it, yeah. let's have some respect. Email is not a form of text messaging. It is not a form of instant messaging. Like let's be smart about how we go back and forth. Read the whole email. Like the number of times people reply to the first line and there's like three questions in there yeah. and it's like, Hey man, I'm trying to be fast and efficient. If you can bang out the three answers, I can then move this deal forward. If you mm -hmm. answer the first one, I now have to type a second email to you yeah. yes. and another one. Yeah. I know that my staff, the in, the inanity, I don't know if that's a real word, but it I is like now. it. Um, <laughs> you just coined the, it. The, the, the inanity and insanity of people's disorganization is I think one of the things that's causing, um, you know, this, the, the, the things to slow down. Um, well, and honoring people's time, not just your own, knowing that everyone else yeah. has stuff going on too. What keeps you inspired, motivated to keep agenting? I, so I, like right now I represent this. Besides the money. He's like right now. It's uh, like right if now the I money, don't. If the money is what drives you, then it's, it's probably time to hit <laughs> and eject. Um, because it's getting, you know, we're making, we keep growing, which is amazing. But what it takes to generate the money mm -hmm. is, 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 it's a lot. It's more work. It's yeah. definitely more work. Yeah. Um, what uh, you know, uh, like doing like doing some of these deals, like I said, like Alexa, like the technology, the place where it's intersecting is really fun, and then there's characters that you just like are really special. Like I represent Tiny Chef, I represent the voice of Tiny Chef, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, he's just it's beautiful content. Yeah, it really you know we're or, 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 yeah. you know we're putting Ed in 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 up. You know, I sat and I was like, I'm really proud of this work. Mm -hmm. And I've, you know, and, you know, I have clients whose careers, you know, John DiMaggio, I've loved working with John over the years. Like, mm -hmm. like, and I love what we've been able to create, you know, together as, as you know, an agent and a, and a talent and the amount of people that have laughed. Yeah. Yes. Um, I love it when a client is able to put kids through college, you know, or, um, yeah, there's, there's, there's great stories like and I, and I love when a client we sign someone and they're not a celebrity and we grow with them and, and they, they become, become one yeah mm -hmm. that's cool and sometimes it goes the other way sometimes they become a celebrity and they become a pain in the you know the tuchus the but, tuchus um, <laughs> yeah I think the passion is still the art yeah and and I think that's also what you know is, is maybe um when back to what's frustrating about being an agent these days is I think it's getting you know, it's the 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 art is elusive mm. at times. And, yeah, but I think we're on we're heading into a golden age. Um, there's the amount of things we're going to be yeah. creating and are creating and yeah. the outlets and the level of quality we're demanding as a yeah. society in terms of what we want out of our entertainment. Yeah, you know, I think the then, bar then, is starting I mean, to raise back up. I don't know, if, I don't know if you've put on a, a VR headset, but... Oh, my gosh. Psh, crazy. Yeah. 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 So can you think about any th specific things that you feel voice actors are doing that are holding them back? I mean, I think, I think it's the same thing that uh, p people do that holds them back. One is fundamentally, if you enter into any situation... We have to, as a society, begin starting everything with gratitude. Mm. Like we, we need to wake up in the morning 
I'm not being. I, I just, and be grateful we, you woke we gotta, up. We have to get ourselves <laughs> out of the survival. You know, the lowest rung of Maslow's hierarchy is is, is this survival mechanism. Mm. Well, the transcendent, and, and, and this is like on a neurobiological level, you know, in a creative level, you want to start moving things in life, get grateful. Mm -hmm. I don't care if it's just, I am breathing. I was going to say that, you're, that you actually I, did wake I, up. I, I don't care what yeah. it is, but let's start there. Mm -hmm. Yes. I get to pursue voiceover. I mean, there's some really crappy gigs out there. Yeah. Yeah. I've been to some really interesting places in the world, you know, developing countries, and I've seen real poverty. And give me a break, people. Yeah. Put mm -hmm. it in perspective. Mm -hmm. So I think, I think if you start with this attitude of gratitude, everything just, it gets. And then, and then it's this quality of, um, uh, you know, of, of, of some aspect of kindness and, and of like, what can I bring today? What can I offer? What does life want from me today? Yeah. And so I think when you enter into a piece of copy, it's not the needy piece of like, how do I get the gig? How do I get the gig? It's like, how can I, how can I add to this? Right. Someone wrote this. Someone right. took the time, even if it's a, how do I celebrate even if it's, a, yes. even if yes. it's an ad for broccoli, Yes. you know, and, and it's, a you know, Someone had someone's labor has been that, and they've tried to put what little dignity. It, so I think there's that. Mm -hmm. I think um, to want to give and not always be in the receive. Give, you know what am then, I getting? Yeah, and, and then there is dignity. Like like yeah. like like reclaim your authenticity. Reclaim your voice, your sovereignty. You know, express from, yourself. Express from. It, yeah. It's not from here. Mm -hmm. We're expressing from within the gut. Yeah. yeah. And, and the by heart. the way, that, that is what I'm seeing today with some of the people that I know that are having tremendous success in the commercial world or even in the promo world, because things have changed a lot there too, is that they are being more genuine to who they are. It's, it's, it's so much more compelling. It's, you know, it's in the social space, like when we talk about influencers, mm -hmm. The influencers that, um, if it's not off, we are in, and we, this goes back to what we talked about before with social media and, and the internet. If you are not authentic, there's no, you know, I get that people are filtering and this and that, but right. yeah, you can't. And, and the, the, the voice is the mirror of the soul. Mm -hmm. So if you can't get to an authentic signature, if you can't get, to that place and you're in a state of panic or worry, I got to get this job, I got to, yeah. or it's, who am I? You what can I hear it right? and yeah. it's not, yeah. it, totally I don't want to listen to it. I don't, I'm not, I don't, you know, it, it's the difference between this, listening and leaning in. Mm -hmm. If I lean in, what was that? Mm -hmm. You know, then you got that's something. the good, that's yeah. the spark. It's the same thing. It's, 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 it's you know, okay, so we've got you know, machines everywhere, and I love technology and I'm kind of down with this concept of singularity and stuff. And at the same time, there's nothing like organic. There's yeah. nothing like the, the spark of life, like the create, like right. that's why we go to theater. It's why we go, you know, it, it, it's why we go to concerts. Mm -hmm. You know, why we pay that much money to go see. Mm -hmm. The guy perform it live, or the, or the, or, you know, or to see, you know, the yeah. LA Phil do, right. you know, and, and you, actually experiencing it with your eyes, with your senses, with your no, heart, not say, through yeah. your device. Because how many well, times do you say like, it's experiencing you know, it? it, it we, take it. In we are ultimately human beings, and it's experiencing, it's being to being, mm -hmm. yeah. you know. And I think there's, if you can get to that, so what? So what does that say? What's the practice of that? How do I get there? You know, I have a, a teacher who says, we wake up, we clean up, we grow up, we show up. Mm. Do, what does that say in there? It says, do the work. Yeah. And that means it's like, yeah, there's a technical work that needs to be done. And you better get that dialed in. Because if you're thinking about that, then you can't be intuitive. Mm -hmm. But you need to do the internal work. Like, as a people, we need to take the time to develop emotional intelligence, to develop gratitude, to develop you know, a mindfulness practice. I don't care if this is going to be religious, but yeah. you better be able to get mindful. Yeah. You better be able to get centered. You better yeah. get present. Yeah. Present. Like that's the key is yeah. are you present? You Have know? you always yeah. been of this mind? 
I mean, have you always thought that I, way? No, I have, and then I, you know, y y yes. And I think then there was a window where um, uh, I'm in recovery, uh, I'm a recovering alcoholic and addict, and um, I, uh, coming up on six years, and that that I think as a child, I had this level of sensitivity and presence, and then there's a window of a lot of pain. Yeah. I think it's very common in our business. Mm -hmm. And I don't regret the past or shut the door on it. Um, it's taught me a lot of things. Yeah. And, um, you know, my goal these days is to help other people work through that. And um, good for you, man. You know, and, 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 so cool. and that process of getting sober and then sobriety for me has been an incredible gift in terms of um, expanding this. Yeah. You know, what, what is our, my, my, Primary objective these days is to master the art of living. So I love it. I really you are on it. the right track. Absolutely. You are on the right track. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a number in Pippin. <laughs> yeah, Wes, you're on the Let's right track. Let's cut to the dance break. No, but I mean, and your your story, your essence, your commitment, your passion, your authenticity, all of that is helping somebody right there that's Thank watching, you. which yeah. is huge. And that's an impact that will then domino oh, i know yeah. you're gonna well i, know, I get we a little both are, teary when because, people share their heart because yeah. it moves me because you uh, what what else i mean if you can't do that then you um and, and it goes back to your, your original question which is that you, you, you want to be good at something yeah that's it yeah that's the core of it mm -hmm. that's it beautiful yeah. well thank you for Love sharing it. with us man Love Thank it. you. Thank you for um, coming down here. We know it's not just around the block from where you live, <laughs> yeah. and you are really I, a busy. The helicopter yeah. wasn't available today. Wait, we have today. to do this. I have to say one of the coolest things. We're going to do that, but yeah. one of the coolest things about Wes is that whenever I call you, you I literally know. pick up the phone I for know. me. I don't even know why, know. but you do. And I'm like, Chuck Here's Duran. A guy Chuck who, Duran. The Come on, man. Guy in Los Chuck Angeles, Duran is calling for Wes Stevens. Wes. Wes Stevens. It's on the line. <laughs> That's for you, Dad. Um, Let's put Wes on okay. the hot seat with the last this question here. This is and then a mystery gone. question, Wes. Woo! Pick, Pick it from card. anywhere. When was the last time you volunteered? Oh. That's a great question. Uh, let me think. Um, uh, uh, two Saturdays ago. Well, you... <laughs> <laughs> Can you say what you volunteered like, for? Is it a secret? Oh wait, well, you were helping but, but, the voice I, of I, the I, 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 but giving I, back is really important. I know. I mean, for I, you. there's all sorts of ways. But I set up, I set up the chairs in an AA meeting every Saturday morning at at, Good for at, you, at seven th at cool. seven thirty in the morning. Seven thirty in the morning. That's no, no joke. On a Saturday. Well, no, and and philanthropy and giving back is is a part of your. So I don't. I almost feel guilty too. about it because it's it's part of. Our program is like we we do service, but uh, it, it well it actually the 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 question stimulates me to go. I think I I need to do a little more. So yeah, good one. Well, you're a joy. We adore you. You're always welcome here. Thank you for thank you. This just, is fun. Yes. Thank you, Wes. Thank you. You know, please don't ever change. Absolutely. We need you just the way you are. Yep. <laughs> Cue Billy Joel. We need you just the, the way, way you are. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> that concludes part two with Wes Stevens. Hope you guys checked it out and enjoyed it. Yes, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. We love you and happy holidays. And just remember, you, you always got, got time for a little, little buzz. buzz. Wes Stevens. I've just been buzzed by Chuck and Stacey. Uh, be grateful. Be authentic. Come on, come on, come on and get buzzed. Leo Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demo That Rock. Rock. The voiceover demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit DemosThatRock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little buzz.